Barack Obama and Bill Ayers also served together on a second charitable foundation, the Woods Fund. Among its recipients, Jeremiah Wright's Trinity United Church, where Obama attended. Perfect as he may be, he has been like family to me. One of my members just might turn this mother out. Turn the tables on white supremacy. Strengthens my faith, officiated my wedding, and baptized my children. And they will not only attack you if you try to point out what's going on in white America, U.S. of KKKA. I can no more disown him than I can disown the black community. I can no more disown him than I can disown my white grandmother. I also believe that America is the greatest sin against God. No, no, no. Not God bless America. God damn America. That's in the Bible for killing innocent people. God damn America for treating our citizens as less than human. America has been raping people of color, and America has to pay the price for the rape. He is now on trial for corruption, extortion, and fraud. Obama has since donated some $150,000 of allegedly raised for him by Resco, but the nation has been watching this trial very carefully because of that association. Obama's association with Bill Ayers, an unrepentant 60s radical. Well, again, while you were on the board of the Woods Foundation, you and Mr. Ayers together, you sent $230,000 to Acorn. So, uh, and you launched your political campaign in Mr. Ayers' living room. That's absolutely not and, true. And, and the facts are facts and records are and records. That's not the fact. And it's not the fact, it's not the fact that Senator Obama choose to associate with a guy who in 2001 said that he wished he'd bomb more and he had a long association with him. It's the fact that all, the fa all of the uh, details need to be known about Senator Obama's relationship with them and with ACORN and the American people will make a judgment. Barack Obama confirmed during a primary debate that he knew heirs and, when pressed, said they served on a charitable foundation board together and Obama condemned Ayers' support of violence. But the relationship between Obama and Ayers went much deeper, ran much longer, and was much more political than Obama said. One place their paths repeatedly crossed, according to a CNN review of board minutes and other records, was Chicago's Annenberg Challenge Project, where a $50 million grant from the Annenberg Foundation matched locally raised funds to improve schools. According to participants and project records, Bill Ayers fought to bring the Annenberg grant to Chicago. Barack Obama was recruited as its chair. For seven years, Bill Ayers and Obama, among many others, worked on funding for education projects, including some experiments supported by Ayers. Stanley Kurtz, a conservative researcher for the Ethics and Public Policy Center, has also been reviewing the recently released records of Chicago's Annenberg Challenge. Instead of giving money directly to schools, they gave money to what they called external partners. And these external partners were often pretty radical community organizer groups. And the board gave hundreds of thousands of dollars to Bill Ayers' small schools project, promoting alternative education like the Peace School, with a curriculum centered around a United Nations theme, and another school where the focus was African American studies. And this was directly funded by Annenberg? Oh, yes. And Under... Obama's chairmanship. Oh yes, and the specific job of the board of directors was to give out the money. While continuing work on the Annenberg Challenge, Barack Obama and Bill Ayers also served together on a second charitable foundation, the Woods Fund. Among its recipients, Jeremiah Wright's Trinity United Church, where Obama attended, and a Children and Family Justice Center, where Ayers' wife worked. For Obama, the chairmanship of the $100 million Annenberg Board helped vault him from Southside Chicago lawyer to political player, and that, too, has another connection to Bill Ayers. In 1995, months after the little-known Barack Obama became Annenberg Project Chair, State Senator Alice Palmer introduced the young Obama as her political heir apparent. Where was that introduction made? At the home of the 60s radicals, Bill Ayers and Bernadine Dorn. 
That state senator referred to by Anita Dunn is former state senator Alice Palmer, and she denies she set up that meeting at Bill Ayer's home. Alice Palmer said she was there, but certainly did not organize it. And another participant in the event, a now retired doctor named Quentin Young, tells CNN it was Barack Obama's political coming out party, a small but politically powerful group of supporters introduced to the next state senator from Chicago's South Side. The introduction made at Bill Ayer's home. Radical community organizer groups. On his foundation service, Barack Obama uh, with Ayers were, were sending money over to this organization called ACORN. Get everybody in America registered to vote. especially in, in Florida and in Ohio. ACORN is running a nationwide voter fraud operation. Uh, they faint and, and wring their hands and say they can't stop it. That's nonsense. A scheme that is set up uh, that will pay people, poor people and ex-felons, X number of dollars for every voter registration that they receive. ACORN's under fire over allegedly phony voter registration. We had close to 5,000 total from uh, ACORN, and so far we have identified about 2,100. So roughly half of them roughly half. are bad. Correct. Of the 35,000 cards ACORN hand-delivered during its Get Out the Vote campaign, James characterizes 85% of them as trash. The Obama campaign gave $800,000 to ACORN to help fund its primary registration drive. If I'm not mistaken, that, uh, that Senator Obama served on a board with Mr. Ayers for a period of time, the Woods Foundation. Barack Obama and Bill Ayers also served together on a second charitable foundation, the Woods Fund. Among its recipients, Jeremiah Wright's Trinity United Church, where Obama attended. No, 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 not God bless America, God damn America, that's in the Bible. Barack Obama, community organizer. After college, he moved to Chicago. There, Obama met Madeleine Talbot, part of the Chicago branch of ACORN. He was so impressive that he was asked to train the ACORN staff. What did ACORN in Chicago engage in? Bullying banks, intimidation tactics, disruption of business. ACORN forced banks to issue risky home loans, the same types of loans that caused the financial crisis we're in today. No wonder Obama's campaign is trying to distance him from the group, saying Barack Obama never organized with ACORN. But Obama's ties to ACORN run long and deep. He taught classes for ACORN. They even endorsed him for president. But now, ACORN is in trouble there are at least 11 investigations across the country involving thousands of potentially fraudulent ACORN forms. Massive voter fraud. And the Obama campaign paid more than $800,000 to an ACORN front for get-out-the-vote efforts, pressuring banks to issue risky loans. Nationwide voter fraud. Barack Obama. Bad judgment. Blind ambition. Too risky for America. An ACORN doesn't fall far from the tree. During the transition, we're going to be calling all of you in to help us shape the agenda. We're going to be having meetings all across the country with community organizations so that you have input into the agenda for the next presidency of the United States of America.
New evidence tonight that the so-called community uh, left-wing activist group ACORN is involved in widespread voter registration fraud. In point of fact, ACORN is a left-wing special interest group that's been under investigation for literally years in various parts of the country for voter fraud and embezzlement.